Hey there, so Halloween is coming up. Uh, and we went ahead and did a photo shoot with um, fake blood. And uh, we use this brand here, and it's nice and thick. Uh, and it also can be thinned with water. And we went ahead and uh, the storyline was that the girl bleeds glitter. So we went ahead and mixed um, red craft glitter uh, with the blood, uh, thinned it out a little bit. Um, because of the way that we had to do the effects and so forth, we went ahead and had to run it through a syringe and a long tube and so forth. So we, we did thin it down. Um, and it worked really great. And the thing about it is that um, generally with craft glitter and water, uh, the two don't mix very well. Um, but in this case, uh, it did. And there was no off-gassing and it worked really well with this brand. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, show you the results. But it was literally just a matter of mixing this uh, plus this and sticking it in a syringe and going off to the races with it. Um, we also looked at other brands, uh, fake bloods and stuff. This was too thick. It was more like, <laughs> I know it sounds gross, cherry pie filling. It really didn't run at all. Whereas this one, you know, ran rather nicely, but it wasn't um, so thin, you know, that it just looked like water. Um, it also splatters really well. We did a splatter test, even though we didn't end up using it as a splatter. Um, if you were concerned, like let's say you were on a Hollywood set or something and you needed to mix up, you know, gallons and gallons of this ahead of time, I would not recommend craft glitter. Craft glitter can off gas um, when there's water uh, involved. So, and also when it gets hot. Okay, so if you're just mixing it and going to use it in the next hour or so, craft glitter would be fine. Otherwise, you would want to switch to a polyester um, and uh, that should hold up better for you. But otherwise, um, craft glitter, fake blood, good combo.